the first day of the new school year, just a few minutes before the opening of Miss Smith's fifth grade class. Here are the children she will teach, each complex and unique, different in background, abilities, and needs. These differences Miss Smith must discover in the weeks to come if she is to adjust the educational program to meet the needs and characteristics of each child. Let us see what these children are like. What are the influences that shape their lives? This is Robert. Robert may never be captain of the football team, but he will usually be among the first three or four whom the captain chooses. He is popular with his fellows. In the huddle, the captain calls for a pass. Robert is to be the receiver, an important assignment. And he does very well. Touchdown. Let's follow Robert into his home. For what a child does away from school may be revealing indeed. son has trouble reading. Glue in place with center line of motor parallel with center line of fuselage. Oh, yeah. Look, Dad, it goes like this. See? So this is Robert, socially adjusted, physically capable, mechanically inclined, but a poor reader. What about this girl? Ruth. mother died a year and a half ago.
give George some more beans. Are you tired, brother? I'm tired. Outside of school hours, a constant routine of marketing, cooking, baby care, dishes, cleaning, the making of beds, and all the other duties of running a household. With it all, Ruth has had to become the mother, though she herself needs a mother most of all. A few moments escape from the bleakness of her life. There is much about Ruth that a teacher needs to know. Here is Mark. Mark is only 11, but he is a competent photographer and can make his own pictures in the dark room. leads the way. 28. Pass 28 to 10. 28 again. Make the fire here. Yes, this is Mark, a natural leader, well grown, intelligent, and aggressive. How would his teacher find out these things? Elizabeth, an attractive child. What is she thinking about? You care about his money, money, money. It's clear you don't care about it. He takes care of your house and your child. She's your child too. Remember? Oh, I can't stand the sight of you. Get out. That's the first intelligent idea you can.
What does this do to a child? How quickly can one forget? And here is John, small for his age. John says he lost the cat, but that doesn't fool his father. His father considers him a complete misfit. He fails at school, he fails at home, he even fails to make friends. It's a whole pattern of failure. Can a man have two sons so different? That no one says anything at a family dinner table in itself says a lot to John, lost and alone among the strangers he calls his family. Who is to blame? boys and girls. As most of you already know, I am Miss Smith, and I want to welcome you on your first day in the fifth grade. Their first day in the fifth grade. What will this new year bring to both pupil and teacher? We have glimpsed briefly into the lives of five of these children. Like all the others, each is a complex and unique pattern, shaped by many influences in his home and community. This, Miss Smith knows. She also knows a love for children is not enough, and that it is one of her most important tasks to discover what these influences are. For only in this way can the educational program be adjusted to fit the needs and characteristics of each child. How she proceeds to learn of these needs and characteristics is the subject of part two, discovering individual differences. 